All right, welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our first chronicle in Septimus 3, the Wabajack mod pack for Skyrim SE. We are ready to go to Whiterun. I think I'm, I'm going to fast travel there this time around. Because so we're going to go do a quest near Whiterun, and we will travel to where the quest location is. So we'll fast travel to Whiterun itself. We're going to be doing the Silver Moons Bandit Camp. But firstly, I, um, you know, the 20% experience is very nice from a, a gameplay perspective. And if I was playing As if offline, I probably, if this was just a personal playthrough for me, I'd probably take that. But for um, an online documented playthrough where I'm trying to kind of let a story develop around this character, I would rather stick with RK+. Plus. At 185 health points, I, you know, that's, that's a steep decline. We've got the Pilgrim. Oh man, the pil I wonder if that Pilgrim status is giving us plus 40 percent xp that's insane but again i'm not gonna take the gamey option health increased by 50 what's 50 minus 15 um 40 35 30, so we should be at 235 yes we are all right, now that's normally a plus 25 health points, but because I have that Pilgrim attribute, so it makes it plus 50, so quite, quite a bit more. All right, we are now going to go take care of, I think it's a miscellaneous. Here it is, kill the bandit leader at Silent Moon's camp. In what is it, Imperial? White Run. I'm glad to see you, Greyman. Why don't you stay? Avienda seems like a real sweetheart. Somebody everybody would love to see again, you know, because she's so open hearted and kind. We are level 11. It looks like we're about a quarter of the way through. Do I have a compass marker? I do not, so I'm gonna take that off. Bring up map. Oh, actually, there, I bet I have a compass marker now. Yeah, I do. Okay. I see you, Dragonborn. May you find shade this day. Hmm. How do I? Well, I guess I'll have to keep my caps lock on. Somehow I got uh, situated where caps lock on means that I am running. I'm on auto run. way all right I think we probably ought to start 
seeing bandits once we come around this corner here. Oh, what happened with the physics on my cloak? Well, there's our first one right there. Okay. huh I I suspect there are more at the top let's go ahead and loot these bodies I think if I leave them out here they will disappear or something to that effect okay I don't really need apples or anything Well, you know what? Am I well fed? No. So, I've done the prayer. Move over here, eat like a goat. Okay, I'm well fed now. We'll leave that stuff there. I don't think I need any more. I do want to come up here though. If we get a refined moonstone, I should be able to improve this uh, mace. That's the last of them. No, it's not. Okay, that was good. As far as operating as a team, I felt like that went much better than than the cave from last episode. Grab all this stuff. All right, what do we have here? Heavy armor fortune. Yes, please. And iron ingots. And right here we have Can I not grab this? Seems like something I should be able to grab. Lunar War Axe. Light Armor Forging. Oats on the Lunar Forge. Scanning what we just took. And I didn't get what I needed. I need refined moonstone. I have not come across one of those yet. Okay. Let's go ahead and head down into the main camp. Which is right here. Okay. Create a save point. Well, I guess it's going to create an auto save when we go in here. Just like that, we're closing in on halfway through level 11. 
Uh, let's maybe add a poison here. Heavy armor has increased, and we are at level 11. Uh, I've got 72 of them. Now this requires a key that I have never found. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put you on pause. And loot this cave, go back and sell then Stagmer's ring. That sounds like familiar. Oh yeah, that's what the quest was for. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna loot everything in this cave. And uh, oh yeah, we got a dig site here. And then I'm gonna go back to White Run and I'm gonna sell equipment. And then I'll bring you back to complete that quest, and we'll figure out what to do next from there. Dig site exhausted. Loaves of bread, troll fat, that might sell well. Basket. Let me throw this switch here. I don't believe that opens these doors. I don't really know what it does, to be honest. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, so I'll see you in a minute. All right, welcome back, guys. I just sold what inventory that I had. Uh, actually made a quick, fast travel trip back to our River Run home to store some items. I also disenchanted one of those lunar weapons and sold the other one. And uh, now we have right here this option here. I've dealt with those bandits. Excellent. Here is your reward. All right, cool. We got a hundred. Do come back. What oh, is this? Returned. Let me uh, check you with him. Me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Let's see if he has any refined. What is that called? Refined moonstone. He has regular moonstone. But I don't have the ability to refine it. PQRST, so no, he doesn't. But he does have two moonstone ore for future Remember, reference. I'll give you the best deals so, is that who I was supposed to give the ring to? Yes, apparently so. Uh, let's go over here. We can sort by enchanted, I think. Yes. Uh, no, here it is. Then Stagmer's ring. I thought. Okay, well, I guess we get to keep it, actually. That might really be worth disenchanting. That seems. Oh, he didn't want this. I still need to sell that. But look at the enchant on this ring. Let's see, it was a D. Oh, it's enchanted. It's up here. Fire, frost, and lightning resistance increased by 30%. Okay. Well, I'll no hang on to traffic. that for disenchantment. You're like me, eh? Don't fancy those clunky two-handed weapons. Got some good pieces. I don't claim the finest weapons in armor. Will you buy this? Yes, she will does 17 damage 
I think my my current weapon does 17 also. But I'm going to sell that one. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need. Oh no, 22 damage. And it needs to be recharged. Oh, we get points for reloading maces. Okay. That's nice. Alrighty then. We have to find out what we're gonna do next. I have a lot of respect for the restoration school. Let's uh, go somewhere where maybe people won't chat at us too much. Alright, so I knocked out this one, and the four that are left here are ones that I'm not terribly interested in at the moment. Ah, deliver Den Stagmer's Ring to Aryan. Oh, okay, that was part of... Well, okay, oh boy, that means I can't disenchant, doesn't it? Well, let's go turn it into them. This doesn't say anything new, does it? The museum is currently closed, pending the acquisition of displays prior to its opening. Thank you for your patience. See Curator Orion Morales for more information. Hmm? Very good. And in excellent condition, it seems. Wonderful. Do return soon. Oh, we got 540 gold for that. I think there's a way to make a replica of that, and then we can disenchant that, maybe. I'm not for sure. Alright, so we still need to find the Jade Warrior 2, somewhere in the Reach, and find the 6th House Bell Hammer and Broken Helm Hollow. So uncheck that. The peddler, go to the Silver Blood Inn. I don't really want to do that. I don't want to start Worm's Tooth. I don't want to travel with the worshippers. Purchase a set of tailoring supplies. Eh. Search the ruins of Kagranar. Maybe. The Way of the Nine. Ask innkeepers for information. That's another maybe. I, we're probably going to do this. The note on the assailant's body mentions some ruins near Cragwallow Slope and East March. I think East... Where is East March at? What if I... Checked that. Okay, that's all the way over here. So we should do this one in conjunction with the one where we have to talk to the innkeepers. Because I think that's going to... There's Kagranar. Yeah. That, that, and I think the innkeeper that it wants us to talk to is here in Riften. So those three go together. I instead... I think we can probably... I was kind of impressed with how we were able to handle Silent Moon's Keep. I think we can probably handle this uh, fairly easily at uh, halfway to level 12. Where is it at? Iverstead, when color passed. Did I check the right thing? 
Dokran's tomb. Let me bring that back up, guys. After demonstrating my ability to learn words of power and to shout, the Greybeard Arngear has sent me on a final trial. Retrieving the horn of Jurgen Windcaller from his tomb in Ustengrav, a burial mound in the marshes of Hjalmarsh. Ustengrav. Ooh, there it is. Morthal. Okay, well, we got a long trip ahead of us. Where am I at right now? Solitude. Time. Nighttime. Let's go ahead and go get some shut eye. And early in the morning, we will begin our trip to get this Need horn. Something? I don't abide fancy clothes, but you look <laughs> like you might. I hear Radiant Raymond is a large village. Oh, we're at Radiant Raymond's. We're, we're at the place where it would be at, so where was that at? The Peddler? No. No, there, that one. Uh, how do I get to this place? I think we're going to have to go through here. This is the player home that you can buy. If you go to the Blue Palace, it's cheap. It's like 1,500 gold. So it's a, it's a great little starter home. And it's got everything you would need. Um, enchanting, alchemy. I'm not sure if it had smithing in it. Since we are here... Do I talk to we you? We provide clothing for all of Solitude's most influential residents. But for you, I'll make an exception. It's not an insult, just an observation. I'm gonna observe my mace through your skull. Me, I would want you to tell me to see a doctor. Oh, I can make Your that happen. Is something of an open wound where a tire is concerned. Maybe I should just be humble and accept advice where I need it. Nothing at all. It's very nice. If you want something with a little more style, however, you should see what we have available. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, what delight. Another charming customer. Oh, you're both the same. Radiant Raymond has the finest attire in all of Skyrim. That is how we get business. It is when my customers waste time chatting and not buying. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> All right. Well, they don't lack for customers, do they? Uh, not this. What does it say for us to do? Purchase a set of tailoring supplies. Oh, let me just... Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Alright, so it's going to be under T. G-M-N-R. Wow. Um, it's T. She does not have tailoring supplies. Thank the gods for the end of... Oh, certainly, dear sister. We couldn't afford to have our customers look like the simple mm -hmm. things they are. Golly, man, these are the snobbiest women. What's wrong with my outfit? You're really going to the Blue Palace. That presents an opportunity. If you are willing to wear one of Radiant Raymond's outfits and speak to the Jarl, I would not only pay you, but let you keep the outfit. 
Uh, another time. Look silly. As if you could look any sillier than you do now. Good. And while you're at it, perhaps you could sew your mouth shut when our fine customers are within earshot. Hmm? Well, I'm not quite sure what to do about that quest. I mean... I can help with purchases. Need something? Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer. Maybe there's something else here. Common work boots, common tunic. Fishing boots, fishing hat. Green cow, gray. Miners. Monk robes. Nothing about a tailoring kit. Oh. Uh, all right, we'll leave it alone for mm -hmm. now. Why, hello, here to buy. Spare some gold for a veteran? Can you spare a septum? Lost an eye during the Great War, or I'd earn it myself. I was the finest scout in the Legion once. Tracked down all the places in the wilds that were causing people trouble. Lost my helmet in one of the old caves. My pretty, pretty helmet. Life just got worse after that. Kept losing things. So many things. Oh, you could? I sure would love to have it again. Could show you some of my old scouting tricks. Inside Shadow Green Cavern. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. All right. I do miss that helmet. We need to get a room for the night. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Seems there's always more Welcome to, to be the done. Winking Skeever, friend. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Oh, Feel free to make some quests. Fletching suits me. It's difficult and sometimes tedious, but a well-made arrow strikes forth like the fury of a god. Oh, if you insist. I'd rather be somewhere else. That's a else. pretty painting. There's people in here. Well, alrighty then. Let's go with nine hours of sleep. Okay, we are well rested. Peckish. Peck of goat. Well fed. of RK is added. Um, there. And now we will set this as our destination. Feel free to make requests. And we are on our way. There's been rumors of Talos worshippers leaving notes at the time. Go to the Temple of the Divines of Solitude and investigate something or another. 
So that must have, that lady must be given, must have been given a quest when she was talking about the Talos worshippers. Okay, our horse should be right outside of this gate, a little bit down the hill. My water is yours. Tools, wares, and weapons. There it is. So there's still stars up in the sky. We've got an early start, which is what I wanted. Lots of hawks up in the air, a ton of them. Seems to me like we're gonna have to cross over. So go ahead and dismount. Get into the frigid water. our horse all right let's vamanos how far away am I yeah it's a little ways inland we got more water to cross too it looks like Maybe we can get through here without having to fight stuff. Abandoned shack discovered. I'm sure there's some questing activity available there. What is that? Oh, that's an elk. Okay. Oh, this water's freezing cold. I see like a bear paw on our compass. Uh-oh. Trouble. I can take you. That's your best. Okay, let's hope we live through this. Um Did I guess I got them all? Oh, 
Although I am not seeing bodies. That always disturbs me. There we go. Okay, there's two. I thought there was a third. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, what do we got over here that they were doing? A lot of death bell. Oh. Looks like they jumped this guy in his sleep. No, it's a bandit. Okay, this is us. Empty, empty, whoa. Tomato, cabbage. I'll take the wheat. I don't know why I did that actually. It's, it's nice to have for alchemy. But my guy's not doing alchemy. Okay, I'm going to store as much as I can here. Mm, how much is this way? I think I'll keep these on me just in case. I don't want this stuff to accidentally like despawn or something that I've lost. I'm willing to put this kind of loot in there, but not anything that I deem to be something of a collectible or a legend of the Dragonborn kind of thing. I probably ought to hang on to those two. Crackle. Static cloud falls target, dealing up to 50 damage. That's destruction. I'll sell it. That puts me at 127 pounds. That's excellent, actually. Okay. In we go. We got uh, 20 minutes. Well, just over 20 minutes. Like, like about 22 it looks like. Okay. Uh, use him display added Ustengrav. I just quick saved. Where the heck is Lydia? There she is. Okay. kind of beat him up. Uh, I will loot afterwards. I'm assuming we'll, we'll warm up as we go through here. So this room's going to have a lot of loot for me to grab. Let's see, press on. Maybe I'll go ahead and grab this stuff.
Here we go, this is what I was looking for. Okay, we should uh, quick save it. I should. Oh. That sounds nasty. There's a little bit of extra stuff going on here than what I'm used to. Okay, now. Uh, perhaps. Well, I have to try and remember what to do in here. Okay, I actually don't think that there's anything for me to find in here except what's in these urns. We'll end up coming back through here, I believe, when we're done. Yeah, again, burial urns. I need to go... where's the other way? I need to go through here. got blasted. Oh, that's right. This room can be a bit tricky. Maybe I'm over-leveled enough for it. I just quick-saved. And is always amazed. I, she's um, got what I would call a cute personality. It, it's almost like having a little girl around. Oh, goodness, I should have seen that coming. She's just sort of in this constant state of amazement, and yeah, uh, and everything she does seem to, seems to be full of innocence and wonder, you know? Open Ustengrove, okay. Well, that wasn't as tricky as I thought it was. I must have been thinking about another place.
Or am I going back the way I came? Did I get turned around? I might have. Yeah. Okay, so come back this way. Is there anything else the other way? No. Okay. Thirty-nine gold there. Hmm. This is all one little chamber right yes so I do have to go over this flame guess I already triggered it ah no archers grab that stuff I thought I heard a second one down here. Where are you, chump? You must be up above. Ah. Did I miss? I feel like I missed something. I have to check all this stuff out later. Okay, so upstairs and then across the bridge. That's where we want to go, I think. One keystone found. <clears throat> That's weird. I think we're looking through the world there. I think that's a missing... Somebody who did the texture overhaul might have missed that. Uh, this is this is what we came in at. I 
must be another one. Right here. Nord heavy gauntlets. All right, well, I'm happy to see that wasn't a trap. left if we're going to be on time with this video this is the place I was thinking of That's a lot of fuel. Okay, looks like we got everything that can be had up here. this stuff on the way, although I want to see if that's a trap. No. Okay. On my way out, I'll loot. I'll make another run through the dungeon and grab all the loot. Uh, maybe quick save right here. Close to a dragon word. Fade, become ethereal. Flawless Garnet. That will be good for making jewelry. You know what? I probably ought to be ha saving all of those gems because I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to have to practice to get my skill up and save the flawless ones for when I'm at max skill. That only just now occurred to me. No. 
Ready to get back out there? Yes, I am. I don't have the horn, though, I don't think. Maybe I'm wrong. Retrieve the horn. No, I'm not wrong. It says it's that direction. Okay, let's go back up. Saw me flinch. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Good job, my silent friend. Got a scare out of me. This seems like a problem. I think I'm supposed to use Whirlwind Sprint. Okay, that's going to have to be, that's gonna require a little bit of finger manipulation. Perhaps. I go to settings uh, or controls rather and I look for the Z key there mouse 5 okay Oh gosh, I ran right into the wall. <laughs> All right. Try that again. Ah, oh, bummer. Okay, let that recharge again. Save it. Yay, me. Back to unrelenting force. Oh, man, actually, these. floor I hear yeah whoa there's a there's my time but that spooked me also I must be a little bit tense well we're gonna stick with it this episode's gonna go along able to just basically 
power my way through that. Whoa. We are very close to level 12, guys. Everybody's together. Got all that stuff. save that for sure all right um weapons not encrypted anymore which i'm actually fine with let's give it some venom and we'll find out what this uh what this fight's about Failed. Retrieve. Meet with whoever took the horn. Dragonborn, I need to speak to you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you, a friend. Well, you tricky dicky. Can I take it? There we go. Uh-oh. Very well. Uh, organized by weight. Get myself... Good. Alright, anything else in here? Friend, huh? I don't know what fluorite is, but I'm going to go ahead and grab it. All right, as you can imagine, guys, I think what's left is for me to loot let me make sure nothing else pops out at us but I believe I need to just run through this dungeon again and collect everything else all the loot and then we need to go back to Riverwood and talk to this friend. feel confident that uh, that's the case so I'm gonna I want to create a save point and then I'm gonna put you guys on pause while I collect loot and I will see you guys in Riverwood we're at uh, an hour and five minutes right now see you in a little bit all right guys I have finished looting and um, I think one of the levers I pulled in this place opened this door here I'm not for sure so I'm gonna quick save it 
Well, I'm gonna go find out if there's anything down here I've not yet seen. Well, there's some stuff. Feels like that should open. Not really all that impressive for a secret passageway. But uh, at any rate, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Oh, you know what? I have that first room to loot still. There was quite a lot of stuff in there actually. Got here, Mead. These guys are all looted. Yes. Okay, so I think I'm at 367. I have about 100 pounds of loot I can carry. Lydia might have a little bit of room left on her. Okay. I think that might be it. Yeah. It seems like I've gotten everything. So between the three of us, we it just took one trip. I think we're almost... Uh, we either have leveled or we're very close. So we'll fast travel back to Riverwood. Let's hit... No, let's go to Bridge House. Because it's nighttime, right? So I can't sell this stuff yet. Uh, yeah, we'll go complete the quest. Yeah, it is nighttime. How late? 11.16. Oh, shoot. Face him. You're that visitor been poking around. Well, that's who we gotta talk to. Did you hear something? But I don't think we can until we have got this dragon out of here. There we go, okay. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Hey, Camellia, where's Delphine? Greetings. There she is. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Most of my customers are locals, come here to relax after a hard day. The war... So what's your story? Just here to relax? If you say so. If you're staying the night, I've got a free room. Okay, well, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Meet with whoever took the horn. Meet them in the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood. That's, that's where I'm at, right? Do I need to have the letter on me? I have it. Da -da. To the Dragonborn unsigned letter regarding note from a friend.
We don't get a lot of travelers here in Riverwood. Okay. Well, maybe I need to sleep. Oh, he's here. What kind of dragon is it? A ze Zephyr dragon? Let's see if we can reset this. I think I need to break contact and then fast travel again. Try and pull a trick here. Breeze home, yes. anything. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. I enjoy this work well enough. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room right this way. Need anything else? Just let me know. Lucky that kind of reset everything. Security in white one is terrible. Shame. And I noticed I did not level up, so we're just right at the edge of level twelve. like there's any way around that let's uh load this and we're gonna have to end the episode right here and we'll open the next episode with a dragon fight uh, it seems to me like that's scripted all right so we will save it and again, I am Ace. Oh, you know what? Before we do that sign off, did we get any upgrades? I don't think so. Two handers. Steel crossbow does uh, 13 damage. Yeah, but I have an enhanced steel crossbow. Here's a magic. Sun damage to the undead. Targets on fire take extra damage over time. That's nice. Okay, what about on this, this area? No upgrades. All right, here pretty soon, I am going to, and I don't think do an episode on, I'm going to include in the episode, 
some some work on disenchantment and some work on smithing and I'll probably pause you and I'll just use whatever uh, raw materials I have and, and just kind of grind stuff up and then I'll show you uh, how many points we gained all right guys again I'm Aesop Grimm thank you for coming by the channel I hope you like what you saw and I hope all is well in your neck of the woods and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.